Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today we're dispelling the myth that a laser part of a show has to be the lights turning off and the lasers fading in like this. How many times have you seen a show that involved lasers where that was the gag, right? Or maybe maybe we go and, you know, we have our guy on stage, our person here, and and then, boom, it's dark, we bring in the laser, boom, right? Um, today, that's exactly what I want to talk about is we're talking about lasers this month. I want to talk about, okay, you know, how do you make lasers not like just this, okay, everything stop and look at the laser? Because that look is good, but it's not all that lasers are limited to. Let's dive in. Okay, so this video is completely agnostic of any control solution. It's just talking about really mixing lasers and light together. How do you do it well without slamming your arm on your shelf? No, how do you do it well? Seriously, though. Um, to make it feel seamless. Because if you look out there, like go online and look at August Burns Red Footage. They're a big X laser user and their lighting designer does a killer job mixing in lasers with their lighting. It's not this all the time, okay? Because this gets old fast, right? Uh, what something like the Mercury system that I really like from X laser can do is really break that mold. So let's say, you know, we're playing on stage here, and okay, okay, here we've got, you know, some action going on, right? We've got a bunch of lights going on, and so when we bring in the laser, I've got three lasers, they're all just doing the same thing here for simplicity's sake. You know, I could bring it up to full like that, and it really pops, right? And this is only a, a Mercury, I think this is an M5, let me double check, or is it an M2? It's an M5, so it's only a 5 watt laser. Um, this thing's not bright. Okay, but look at how that punches through the room. Now, what's cool about it, there's a couple really cool things about lasers in programming. One, I could just drop the intensity down like it's at like 50% there, and it blends in a lot better. But then the second part is the fact that it's a media device. So I can bring up or switch between different layers, right? So I literally just, I mean, this could be two different lights, right, that I'm fading between. Or maybe I use the flash buttons, right? I can have a movement with a gobo that's changing color, so that's pretty outrageous. And a fan of two colors. And blue. It gets a little stroby when you do all three together, but I can readily fade between them at any point in time. And so I think if you're thinking about getting into lasers, thinking about using them in a live show, that's something you really have to contemplate. Um, because now most places in the U.S., like, it's no problem to use the show. You get your variants, you know, you check with the local authorities, usually things are fine. Sometimes you might have to hire a local laser safety officer. But other than that, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, but the possibilities of what you're able to do here are really cool. Like, if I play, play this back... You know, we can come and just have a simple white look and bring in something that accents that with a laser, right? And, and I think that's the biggest thing here is so often lasers are just that centerpiece design, but they don't have to be. And systems like uh, X Lasers Mercury, which again, I just, I really like, I, I don't, I literally have zero affiliation with them um, other than knowing them. Um, probably will become a dealer and that we're in stage lighting gear we can get you lasers if you're looking for them uh, through x laser but it's just the fact that you're able to go and just make these simple patterns and move them together and shape them that it just gives you that ability to do so much on your stage i mean a moving light like if i grab one of these vipers on the background that's uh, what these are because this is an older file ah you know, I've got the ability to change the color, right? It's got a color wheel. It's got some color mixing. Uh, with the color mixing, the deep colors are not super bright, right? Um, I've got some gobos. I can switch between my gobos, but not fluidly, right? I mean, sometimes you can grab two gobos like this, and you can rack the focus between them. Where's the focus? 
you can rack the focus between them right, and you can do what's called gobo morph, okay? But with a laser, you do that seamlessly. And that's why these are uh, lasers, I think, are definitely underappreciated just in the fact that, you know, a church can use a laser, a band can use a laser, um, and get different looks and be able to morph between different things without. Uh, really having a problem with, you know, making it smooth so that instead of like a gobo change on a light that you see that happens, right? You know, even if I do the morph between the two, you know, we still see that gobo change happen and we have to turn the light out. If we want to color it, you know, moving lights can color mix, but not all of them, right? And, and so, and it's more expensive for that functionality. Um, so ultimately, I just want to give you kind of some tools here to look at, and this is a shorter video, and say, okay, lasers don't have to be just this, you know, punch through the air, you know, jumpy effects kind of things. They really can do a lot of interesting stuff that looks more like lighting. And as we move forward in time, I think that's only going to continue and get easier to control as different companies. I know some of the other companies uh, besides X-Laser have some new systems to control lasers from lighting consoles, and there will be more to come. Um, so if you're interested in this or more about lasers, we've got more inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs, and we can get you lasers inside of Learn Stage Lighting Gear. If any of that sounds good, check out the links below. And if you're new to lighting, just getting started, head over to LearnStageLighting.com. We want to get a free guide in your hands to get you beginning with lighting. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.